the evolution in patient-facing technologies has been uh, swift and really interesting. If you think about it, the federal government gave $30 billion to digitize the healthcare system over the last five years. That was designed to get all of us to put in electronic health records in hospitals and doctor's offices, and it, and it worked. What it also did, though, was less predictable, but I think probably more important, which is it woke up Silicon Valley. It got the Googles, the Apples, the startups interested and engaged in healthcare technology, but coming at it from a very different angle, coming at it from the angle of consumer-facing technology. So you see that everywhere from new watches to new clothing that has sensors embedded in it, to new digital tools, glucose sensors for diabetics, to attachments that can look inside a patient's ear for a mom to see whether the patient has an ear infection. This stuff is all very cool, very interesting, evolving very quickly. A lot of things have to be worked out to make sure that the measurements are accurate, because sometimes they're not, that the advice that the patients are getting is appropriate, and that it's clear to patients that this is a problem that you actually do need to see a doctor to address. But ultimately, I think this is yet another uh, area where the technology is enabling patients to do things for themselves that previously they depended on the healthcare system to do for them. And in that way, it's a very, very exciting development.